Welcome to this Angular pivot table tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to bind local and remote data to the Syncfusion Angular pivot table component. I will also show you the mapping field options and how to plot data on the row axis. First, I open my existing Angular application where I have installed the Syncfusion Angular pivot view package and have a pivot table already bound to local JSON data using the data source property. To learn how to get started with the Angular pivot table and bind a local JSON data source to it, refer to the getting started video shared in the above card and the below description. Let me run this application using the command ng serve. See here, the pivot table is rendered based on a JSON object. Let's see how to bind CSV data to the pivot table. I create a file, csvdata.ts, and define the data with the fields total revenue, total profit, total cost, country, etc. Then I import this data in the app component.ts file. I need to convert this CSV data into a string array. So I define the get CSV data method. Inside this method, I split the data into the string array. I assign this method to the data source property of the pivot table. Then I need to map the data source fields to rows, columns, and values axes. In the column axis, I map the fields item type and sales channel. In the row axis, I map the fields reason and country. And in the value axis, I map the fields total cost, total revenue, and total profit. Then I specify the type of data source as CSV. See here, CSV data is loaded in the pivot table. Next, let's see how to bind remote JSON data. For that, I comment out the data source and type properties in the data source settings. I add the URL property and assign the remote JSON data link. Let's explore this remote JSON data, which includes fields like date, sector, energy type, etc. Then set the appropriate fields to the row, column, and value axes. The pivot table is rendered based on the remote JSON data. Like JSON data, I can also bind remote CSV data to the pivot table. I assign the remote CSV link to the URL property, which is CSV type, and set the type to CSV. Let's have a look at this remote CSV data. This data contains the fields, region, country, item type, etc. I also assign the appropriate fields to the row, column, and value axes. See now that the remote CSV data is rendered. Next, I am going to use the Syncfusion Data Manager library to bind remote data. This acts as a gateway between the pivot table and the remote data source. I import the data manager from the Syncfusion EJ2 data package. Then I declare the data variable of type data manager class and create an instance of the data manager to provide the service endpoint URL using the URL property. To the URL property, I assign the already available remote URL service. To make the server understand the request and process the response, I need to specify the adapter type. The Syncfusion Data Manager supports three types of adapters, OData Adapter, OData v4 Adapter, and Web API. You can learn more about the different adapter types at the UG link provided in the description below. The adapter is set to the Web API adapter because I utilized the existing remote URL service and assigned it to the URL property. And enable the cross-domain option, Let's have a look at this remote data. Here, this remote URL contains these fields, namely ship city, ship country, product name, and more. 
I map the field product name to the column axis. In the row axis, I map the fields ship country and ship city. In the value axis, I map the fields quantity and unit price. I remove the URL property. Assign the data variable to the data source property and comment the data source type property. Checking now, the pivot table is rendered with the remote data. Next, let's see how to customize the value type of the value axis. The Synfusion pivot table supports 22 value types. The default type is SUM. If you want to know about value types, please check the documentation link in the description below. I set the type property to average like this. Look now, the average is displayed on the grand total for the quantity column. You can see that all the values are plotted in the column axis. I can change that to the row axis by setting the value axis property to row. And now the values are plotted in the row axis. Before moving on to the next topic, I will comment out the value axis property to show the values in the column axis. By default, the pivot table shows a field item only when its row and column combination have data. In this example, only the city Buenos Aires is shown in Argentina, only Graz and Salzburg are shown in Austria. To show all the items in the ship city, I enable the show no data items property in the rows. Now, all the cities are shown for Argentina, even if they don't contain data. In this video, I have shown you how to bind local and remote data to the Syncfusion Angular pivot table component and use a few of its mapping options. If you want to try out the example used in this video, you can download it from the GitHub link in the description below. I have also shared a link where you can learn about obtaining a free license key to use our Angular suite through our community license if you are eligible. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel.